Welcome to Vlogmas Day 19, my friends. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So first I start off with setting up a bowl with warm water and then a squeeze of half of a lemon and then I eventually put in some olive oil. You can add any type of oil you want. This is just what I had close. This is used to soak my nails, but after. I'll explain the steps as we move along. So set it to the side, your bowl, your soaking liquid. Make sure you have all your tools, your heat lamp, buffer blocks, your nail polish of choice. I'll link where I got my nail polish and heat lamp. The rest of the stuff I found at Sally's Beauty Supply or Amazon. Make sure you have your left hand and your right hand. And now you set up and you go. First I start by buffing my nails. This white block is <laughs> so old, I need to get a new one. Um, but it's a little bit more coarse than the yellow one I have. So just buff all your nails and then I'm taking just regular al alcohol to wipe off all the dust. And now I'm going to file my nails in the shape that I want them. And I like to keep my nails short. I love long nails, but I, I am not as graceful as other people with long nails. So I like to keep mine short. Let me know how you guys like to keep your nails. Do you go and get them done professionally? Um, yeah, my nail beds are really sensitive, so I like to do them myself if I can. And right now it's during a pandemic. It's the perfect time. So now I'm using, I'm not even sure what this thing is called. I'm just going to call it a cuticle pusher. That could be right. And I'm going to push all my cuticles back while my hands are dry. I learned this from the nail salon I was going to. I think they called it like a Russian technique. Um, so now I'm just trimming back with cuticle clippers. Be gentle with this if you've never used them before. Uh, I don't know, found a YouTube tutorial, but I've been doing this forever. But yeah, I just am cutting down all the cuticles, all the dead skin um, that has just, you know, accumulates. Do the same thing with the other hand. And look at all the little white stuff that comes up. This is probably my favorite part, honestly. It's like so fascinating and satisfying for me, trimming back all the cuticles, all the dead skin. I love it. <clears throat> so now, first step done. Now bring back your soaking liquid. By this point, it's probably more room temperature, but you soak for 10 minutes. And then wipe everything down. This is just a clean washcloth. And I'm doing it again. I am going back with my cuticle pusher. I do this because I feel like it's the most effective for me. I like to cut it dry first um, just to get what I can visibly see. And then when I soak my nails, I go back and I do it again just because it wasn't, I mean, it's not perfect. Do it how you want to do it. Maybe you just want to soak your nails and then go in. It's, it's your manicure. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. And again, trimming back. I found there was so much more to trim back after the soaking too, so I'm glad that I went in a second time. Now that you're all done, repeat the same thing with the left hand. Brush it all off, all of the, the clippings. And now I'm going underneath and I'm taking that same cuticle pusher and just cleaning out the underneath of my nails from where I filed and using the same alcohol pad to wipe my nails down again. Now I have a dehydrant and a nail prep. My, it's, I, my nails are special. <laughs> I need to take these extra steps in order for my manicure to stay longer. You do not need these if your nail polish just stays on. Mine does not. So I'm using a dehydrator to dry out my nails even more. The alcohol helps with this, but this is just an extra step. 
And now I will take the primer and the primer just helps the polish itself to bond or adhere stronger to your nail. And then I repeat on both hands. And now I take my base coat, this is by Dimension Nails. I apply this first. And I have to try and keep my nails pointed down so it doesn't pool as much. I paint one coat and I set it for 10 seconds. I do this for each nail individually so it doesn't move on me. Because when gel polish is wet, it doesn't, it can move all around. So, paint. And then clean up any edges. Cure for 10 seconds. And I did this to every nail. I'm gonna show you what I just did here. At this point, I started to remember, oh, I have to cap my nail edges, so hopefully that makes the nail polish last a little bit longer. So now I'm going back in and I'm just capping the free edge. I should have done this first before the polish, but that's okay. Now I'm curing my whole hand for 60 seconds. And then I did the same thing. Actually, I think I'm just doing my right side now, just so you guys can see. And then the same thing, I try and paint down. <laughs> this is not the best paint job I have ever done. Um, that's okay though. <laughs> Slow, even strokes. If you do find you get any on your skin and you happen to miss it, after a few days, it comes off when you like shower, wash your hands and whatnot. I mean, it's much easier to fix it <laughs> prior to curing, but you know, <laughs> we're not professionals here. Look, I just got a big glob on my skin. And I'm doing the same thing I did with the clear. Um, I just am painting the first coat, curing each finger for 10 seconds. And then, just like I typed, cure the whole hand for 60 seconds again. So that's the first coat done. Or no, I did two coats, but I don't think I did the second coat on camera. Yeah, not the best painting job. <laughs> you guys can probably do it better. I think I was just really tired, but I'd wanted my nails done forever because having your nails done, again, capping the free edge, take note. Um, I'm doing that first and then going back and putting polish on the top. And I'm being, I'm taking shortcuts here. I definitely paid for it because some of the polish pulled up in my cuticle area. Well, this is why I like to try and do it, point hands, fingers pointing down, and then cure each for 10 seconds because that helps me a lot. But I took some shortcuts and you can definitely tell, but that's okay, I just wanted my nails painted because it makes me feel fancy. And so one hand done. And now I take the same alcohol pad I've been using the whole time. I have a sticky top coat, so I'm just wiping it off with the rubbing alcohol. And now, boom, boom, whoa, magic. Both hands done. I didn't have any cuticle oil, so use cuticle oil if you have it. So I'm just dipping my finger into the top of the oil just to you know, make my nails happy, my cuticles happy, and rubbing it all in. And that's how you do a basic manicure. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative, and I hope you guys do your own nail polish. I'll leave the links for this company, Dimension Nails, down in the description box below. And I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day or night or wherever you are in the world. Be you, shine on. I love you so much. I hope you love yourself fiercely, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!